Hi, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about when you paint something in your painting, is it floating or is it sitting down? And that's one of the things that has always bugged me. I'll ask sometimes your painters, where's your light coming from? And they'll say, light? Yeah, I know. Where's your shadow? Uh, like shadow? Well, let me tell you something. Let me show you a simple way of deciding whether your object is floating in space or seen down with a big, strong shadow. I have behind me some examples of really, it's pretty simple, right? So here's your object, strong light source. You can tell the light source is coming across here, right? Shines on this side of the pair. Oh, there's your strong shadow. It sits in the shadow. Doesn't come in from behind. It sits on and in the shadow. Here's some of my practice pieces doing the same thing over and over and over and over, always anchoring it down. So that's one technique. Now, if I didn't have the shadow, didn't have a strong light source, I would call it something like this, floating in space. There's no bottom line here. There's no lights and darks, really. The belt background is all the same value. So it's floating in space. This one is not floating in space. It's sitting in its own shadow. And you know it's light over here, dark over here. That means a strong light is shining on here, which means it's going to have a strong shadow that's anchoring it. Same with these. Whether it's from the top, it's coming from some direction. Where's your light coming from? That way you know where to put the shadow. <gasps> what an idea. Hey, let me show you how I like to do it. So I'm going to attempt to do an object. I'm going to paint a pair, pretty simple pair, okay? Two different ways. One where it's floating in space, and then one where it's in a scene. So I have my paints, these are my acrylic paints. Pretty simple, blue, yellow, red, light blue, hot paint, that opera, some white. I have some black, big bucket of water. I'm gonna do a pair floating in space. So there's your pair. Well, uh -oh. you know, both ways are fine. There's no one right way. Whoa. So there's some blue in here too. Whoa. So I'm not really concerned about lights and darks at this point. It's mostly all about making it look unique different, fun, and I like where it's going better, by the way. Well, uh -oh, I like it. Yeah, just a little bit of a sh shadow. There you go. Done. Oh, no, wait a minute. There we go. There we go. So that's a good example of a pair floating in space has no shadow, really. See, just keep on going. It's hard to stop, isn't it? Especially when you're having a good time painting. All right, so there we go. Now, the other version is where you do the pair. Sitting on a table. And we have a window over here. Window, this is so French Impressionist, right? The room is gonna be dark. Oh, look. He stands out, a lot of contrast. 
I love to paint at arm's length. You can see the whole thing quicker. This is a pretty simple layout here. We're just doing the table. In a dark room. Notice how quickly I paint. Make sure you have paint everywhere. Quickly. Now, since this is about light source and anchoring, here we go. I'm now about to anchor that pair. So light's coming across from the window. So we're gonna make it a nice blow. There we go. Now you really know where the light's coming from. Let me add a little bit of yellow into here. Acts almost like a reflection, doesn't it? Bring in some color in here. Whoa. More white. And as it gets further away, it's lighter. There we go. So see how it anchors down? It sits down here. Now we know the light's coming across here. In case you miss it, we'll make sure that everybody knows that the light's coming across here. on this side, a little bit of darkness on this side. That means no light is sitting on that side of the pair. Bring some warmth in here. And that's what I mean by having a object, a pair in this case, sitting down, strong light source, or you can have the other one floating around. This was great fun. Thanks so much for letting me paint in front of you today. I love painting today. I hope I see you in the next Bob Blast. See you later. Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge. And I'm inviting you to my next Riverboat Cruise painting workshop hosted by the Dillman's Resort. Guess where I'm going? Stay tuned. So this exciting Riverboat Cruise is next spring. Okay, so stay tuned here. And it's from Amsterdam to Belgium going into the Netherlands. Oh my gosh, all those castles and those historic cities and history. Uh, we're gonna be relaxing and painting on location, not heavy duty painting, but light sketching, colorful pencils and things like that. Then back on our boat, small boat. No, it's a small boat, not one of these giant cruise ships, which I love so much we get personal service. And we're gonna be with all the masterful museums we're talking Van Gogh, Rembrandt, Vermeer, and all those other wonderful early painters that we love so much. Now we get to go and paint in the tulip fields, the same places they were, and all of the landscapes. We're gonna be doing landscapes and florals, as you see behind me, different styles, but mostly we'll be touring castles, painting in the fields, and go where all the other famous painters have gone before us. Just think masterpiece and all in the Netherlands with all those great painters. So I love this boat cruise, it's small. I love it, we did it before, the same boat cruise that we went up in Paris last year. Thank you, Dillman's, you did a great job. So great, we're gonna do it again. And a lot of people are starting to sign up because it is an exciting place. I've always wanted to go there and paint. I hope you can join us. Check out the information at the end of this, and 
I'll see you in the Netherlands. Hi there, and as most of you know, I love drawing the undraped model, especially in my workshops. One of my more popular workshops, I just love because I get to draw too. And as you can see, we're doing drawings from charcoal, we do use paint, black and white paint, all the way up into colorful paintings with acrylic paint. But painting the undraped model and drawing the undraped model is a great luxury for me. And besides, it just is exciting to have the whole room everyone's drawing and painting it's an exciting workshop you know i do them here in my own studio and all over the locations all over the united states and sometimes europe too hey this is what i love to do i hope i'll see you in my next undraped model workshop